Hi guys, I'm getting a few questions on today's key knowledge point uh, question, uh, practice question. And so I thought I'd just do a quick tutorial here on um, how to kind of break this question down. Um, all right, so the question is, describe one factor that might explain the recent trend in Australia's trade balance. Okay, so trade balance. The first thing we always do when we look at any chart is that first question of what do I see? So when you look at this chart, there's lots going on. So first of all, our axes are both percentages. Okay, so that's okay. Our heading is current account balance. All right, but that's different to trade balance because when you look here, you've got three things that are on the chart. All right, you've got the blue line, which is your current account balance. But then you've got these other two lines, the orange line and the green line. Now, if you guys remember um, within the current account, there are four sub um, categories within it. So you've got obviously net goods, net services, net primary income, and net secondary income. And what these orange and green lines represent are just components of the current account. So when goods and services are combined, that's called the trade balance. Sorry about the handwriting there. All right. And when primary income and secondary income are combined, well, that's just called net income. All right, so what you're actually seeing on this chart is the orange line plus the green line equals the blue line. All right, so that's what's going on in the chart. And so let's go back to the question here. In economics, you'll always um, be given, not always, but you'll often be given more information than you need. Um, uh, and your job is to kind of wade through the information in the chart to find what is important. And here we're after the trade balance, okay? So the trade balance, as you'll see here, is the orange line. And you can see in the last, you know, the recent trend is this massive increase from what is a deficit, which is the area below zero, where debits are greater than credits. And you can see here the orange line is significantly moving up, going into the surplus territory where credits are greater than debits. So really, all this question is asking is, describe one factor that might explain why goods and services have got more credits, so an increase in credits, whoops, it's not gonna work over there, an increase in credits, or a decrease in debits. Because either of those two things are gonna cause the trade balance to move from deficit here up to surplus. So describe one factor that might explain the recent trend in Australia's trade balance. Okay, so then we just go, well, what causes that? Well, what causes more credits is when we export more stuff or the price of what we export goes up or when we import less stuff or the price of what we import falls. Okay, we're gonna talk a little bit more about the price of things when we talk about terms of trade. But generally speaking, the easier way to answer this is, okay, well, what would have caused us to export more stuff or made the price of what we export to go up? That's where how I would attack this one. Okay, so it's a really tricky question for two marks. Okay, but essentially you need to explain why this orange line goes from here to here. The key idea is this, is all about credits and debits. Whenever you get a question that says, what is the effect on anything in the balance of payments, you have to talk credits and debits. Okay. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, shout out if you've got any questions. Thanks guys.